guys, what's going on? Sunny here from Online Sales Funnel Academy. Thank you so much for clicking and watching this video. Your viewership means a lot to me and my channel. Uh, in today's video, I wanted to really kind of do a little deep dive on, on some of the things that I look for when I'm doing a channel audit or whenever I'm helping somebody like a business set up their own Facebook page for success. So the topics we're gonna cover in today's video is I'm gonna show you how to properly set up your profile image, your banner image, your clickable link button, and also how to make sure that you get the right tabs on your page. And the fifth thing you're gonna learn is how to go through and make sure you put clickable links on your photos, including your banner page. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it's taken a lot of brain power to you know, years of practice to put all these practices together. I hope you enjoy them. Be sure to implement them. And if you do, please let me know. Okay. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Hey guys, what's going on? Sunny here from Online Sales Funnel Academy. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to start a Facebook fan or business page from scratch. And some of the key things that I like to do to make sure that all of your information is being correctly recorded inside of the fan page. So as you can see right here, I'm just starting from my, my good old fashioned, my normal profile page. And, and depending on when you're watching this video, just keep in mind, Facebook is always moving around the menus. And so it may not look exactly like this when you see this video, but just know that it's, it's similar. It's, it's there somewhere. Um, I'm going to go up, come up here to the create button and I'm going to click on page and I'm, uh, it's going to ask me, do I want a business or a community or public figure? And I want a business. And since I'm making this from scratch, I'm just, let's do, I like cats. So let's do a, uh, um, cat. Let's do furry critters. It's probably already taken, but let's do it anyway. Furry critters. Uh, we'll do, we'll see if pets is. Now, I don't like this because they make you kind of like pick. We're not a groomer, but technically we took, we did tell them we were a business. So let's just say we're a uh, pet supplies. Uh, continue. Okay. Now I'm going to skip this part. I'm going to skip the profiles and I will do those with you in just a second. And we're going to skip this. Okay. So the reason I wanted to do this from scratch is because <clears throat> there are some uh, things that what I call that are right out of the box with the Facebook when they first give you a page that if you don't know to get rid of them, um, you're, you're just going to be stuck with them. And whenever I take, you know, small businesses or medium sized businesses through what I call my business audit, this is the first thing that we do is we go through and kind of clean this section up. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is put in a profile picture. Now, I'm not necessarily a very <clears throat> great designer per se, but one program I use all the time in my marketing is called canva.com and it's free. And what you can do is, now I already have a Canva account, so it already opened up into my account, but what you can do is you come over to Canva and you can do create a design, custom dimension, and then I know just from experience, do this so many times that the profile picture is typically 150 by 150. And it already puts the square there for you in the right dimensions. So I'm going to come over here to my uploads and I'm going to look for a picture of my cat because we're doing a furry critter. So let's find one. There's one. There's Dipper. We'll use that one. Okay. Yeah, we'll just, uh, she was yawning. She was not in pain or being mean or anything. <laughs> okay. And up here you can uh, title this, uh, Facebook furry, or what I say, furry critters, 150 by one. Sometimes I like to put the dimensions on there. Then we're going to do download PNG and download. Okay. So it's going to download to my desktop and now I'm going to go back to my Facebook page. And I'm going to click on the update button. I'm going to upload and just grab it out of my downloads. This one. Boom. 
Now it's saying the photo t is too small, but I don't know what that's about because I'm using the dimensions that they told us to use. So it always says that. So there we go. There's our photo. Now what we want to do is we want to add a cover image. And the cover image, um, gosh, I could do a three hour tutorial on how to do it correctly. But what we're going to do is we're going to do one um, just for the sake of getting this page started. So again, we're going to go back to Canva. And this time, instead of doing a custom design, we're going to do down here, there's one right here, 820 by 312. It's called Facebook cover. And um, this one, you know, you just remember that Facebook changes the dimensions on their um, on their the requirements of their pages every year. So um, at the time of this recording, this is the one that's, you know, the most most recent. Okay, so I want a picture of some cuddly. Now these are free stock images, so let's um, let's find something. And we want to pretend that we're selling an item for pets or something, but I don't want it to be just cat. I mean, I do want it to be just cats, but let's pretend that we've got some other animals up in here. Um, make it interesting. We can we can do something like this. We can uh, look for some fuzzy. Oh, he's fuzzy. He's cute. We used to raise rabbits for for the not for fur, like to show them at the state fair when I was younger. So that's kind of cool. More on this one. And um, there's a bunny, and I guess, you know, no page would be complete without a kitty. So let's just do this. And we can, we can even do that. That'd be fun. Maybe one more in the bottom left there. Let's see. All right, we gotta have a puppy. That's just the way it is. Okay. So let's just do that. And what we'll do is we'll just put the puppy to the back here. There, not, nothing too crazy, just um, getting it done. Okay, and we're going to download. Oh yeah, we're gonna title it. Um, so, Fuzzy Critter. This is just for your own internal. Fuzzy Critter Facebook page. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna download, and I'm gonna do a PNG. Download, <clears throat> excuse me. And sometimes Facebook, even though these are the correct dimensions, they like to slice off part of the image. I don't understand that. Okay, so you're going to come back into Facebook. You're going to click on Add a Cover. We're going to Upload. And we're going to grab it from our downloads. Looking good. So we're going to save that. Yay! Okay, now... Now that we have this part done, this is the super basic part, right? But um, most people get this part, but this is where I wanted my lecture to kind of take off from this point on. So there's two sections inside of here that when you're an admin on a Facebook page that you always want to look for, it's the three dots right here where you can edit all the information on your page. And then up here on the top where it says settings, these are the two places we're going to be going back and forth all the time to make changes on this page. So the first thing that we want to do is what I like to do is I like to get rid of all of these tabs over here that I'm not using. And a lot of people don't know this, but if you go up into settings and when Facebook, when you tell Facebook that you have a page, it gives you what they call a template. In other words, some of the tabs. So if you come down here to the third tab and you say templates and tabs, and then over here on the right, it's going to say, okay. Um, so now some of these are hard coded. You can't get rid of them. You see how this one, it, um, it just looks like it's hard coded, but watch this. If we click on events right here, it says show event tab. Yes or no. Okay. Well, I'm going to turn it off. And what it's going to do, just like it sounds, is it's going to get rid of that over here on my tab. Okay, so now it's gone. You see, events is gone, which is cool. So we probably, like, we don't really want any reviews at the moment. Like, if you had a, a store and you were doing reviews, you would totally leave that in there. Um, but what I'm saying is for a virtual store that, um, when I don't need that, 
And even if I had reviews, I probably wouldn't want them here. I'd probably want them maybe on a different platform. It just depends. So I'm going to turn this one off and then you always want to save it. Then also these are drag and drop so you can move them around. So here I'm going to do video first. I'm going to do post second, photos third. I'll put, we can put about up at the top. Um, groups we can turn off. Make sure you save. Um, offers we can turn off if you want. Um, community I think is hard coded. Yeah, it's hard coded in. So there's no button to get rid of it. Uh, photos is hard coded. Posts, hard coded. Videos, hard coded. Okay. So these are your choices. Now, so that's great. Let's go back and take a look. So step one is always just to get rid of all the things that you don't want and re rearrange them into a way that you do want, right? So that already looks a lot cleaner and that's, I'm liking that. So now the next thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that if we have a website or a store <clears throat> that we, you know, Facebook doesn't give you a whole lot of options here, but they, they do give you kind of like Instagram because they own Instagram. They give you the opportunity to have one button, to have one link. So what I like to do is add a button. Now your choices, this is pretty cool because I like how they did include everybody on this. So they can say book with you, contact you, learn more. So in this case, we're going to send them to, we're going to pretend we have an Etsy store. Okay. And we're going to do, okay. Yeah. Learn more ends up at a website link. So let's do that. So it's going to ask you, where do you want? See, they don't really like the buy now button, but let's pretend that we're sending them off platform to Etsy. And I just, um, had a Etsy store created. Okay. We're back. Um, so this is the fake like basically the fake store I've set up, I call it Sun Nation. So this would be the link to my Etsy store. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to Facebook and we're gonna paste this right here. And we're gonna click save and we're going to finish. Okay, so if someone comes here, now we're gonna test the button. And sure enough, it's working. It sends us over to Etsy, but because I'm already logged in, it's taking me to the back office. So that's working. So that's the first place we want to put it. Now, the second place that a lot of people don't know to do it is we're actually going to click on the banner and we're going to put a description in here that has a link going off to where we want them to go. Um, so let's, let's say, um, do you enjoy, let's see, uh, cute fuzzy critters as much as we do be sure to check out our our store over on Etsy um, grab your copy your copy or let's see grab your you know so if, if this were going off to an ebook this would go off to a landing page where you can capture their email. You could say, click here to sign up for our newsletter, you know, or you could just say, um, visit, um, you could literally just put the, the store link right here. And you could also have another link right there. There's no rules here. It's cool because you own that data. It's kind of like a blog in that case. And what's cool is that some people, it's just more real estate that you're not using that. So if you click this and right there, bam, takes you right over to your Etsy shop and you could have, or you could just keep, this is like a description underneath a, um, under a YouTube video. You could just keep putting other information down here. Hey guys, what's going on? So that concludes this first section of how to go through and actually set up your Facebook profile so that you're getting the right logos, the right dimensions on your Facebook covers, and make sure that you're really putting those links in the descriptions of the photos, as well as in the button there on the page to set your page up for success with your business. Be on the lookout on my page. I'm going to be uh, dropping another video. Um, in this series on how to properly set up your Facebook page for success in your business. Take care and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.